What you need to do is attack their benefits. No free education, no free subsidies, no citizenship, no birthright citizenship. No birthright citizenship. And you want to get rid of the birthright law that says that an illegal immigrant who gives birth in America, the child, is a U.S. citizen. Yes, I think there's confusion on interpreting the 14th Amendment. It, it says that if uh, you're under the jurisdiction of the United States, you have a right to citizenship if you're born here. All right, so you say this is good, but that's in there. Uh, yes, but it's a little bit confusing. If you, if you step over the border and you're illegal, are you really under the jurisdiction? There's a question on that, and I want to clarify it. Now, uh, as you know, children of undocumented immigrants who are born in the United States are U.S. citizens, just like you and me. Uh, do you like that idea? Is that okay? I just think the uh, mere fact of uh, stepping across the border and having a child, uh, and I'm an OB doctor, and I, and I had to take care of a lot of emergencies, deliveries, uh, and, and people came for the sole purpose of that. No, I don't think that should be automatic. I think that we should have more control of our borders. So, so you want to change the Constitution? Is that, is that what you're saying? Well, it depends on how you interpret the Constitution. You know, under the jurisdiction is the big issue there, and that's why it's mm -hmm. so, so, so often debated. You know, what does under the jurisdiction mean? If you're, if you're illegal, you might not be considered under the jurisdiction of the U.S. government.